Welcome to my Baraka guide. My name is Magic T and I'm a competitive MK player from Latvia. I've reached the Elder God rank in Combat League numerous times and I like to participate in all available online and offline tournaments. For tournament play I prefer Noob Cyborg but in general, Baraka is my most played character with more than 12,000 online games played. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dashfight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Stick around until the end of the video to see which character guide is coming next. Baraka is a general of the Tarkatan tribe that lives in Outworld. Tarkatans are a race of nomadic mutants. They are cannibals and possess long retractable blades extending from their forearms. The blades are Baraka's most iconic weapons and you can see them used in a lot of normal and special attacks. Pokes. Down 1 and down 3 are your quickest pokes, both at 7 frame startup. Down 3 is really good up close because it has some low profiling properties and tend to interrupt your opponents more than down 1. The down 1 can be used when down 3 doesn't reach. Down 4 is a much slower than average down 4 but it is actually plus 1 on block and on top of that has great low profiling properties. You can even avoid a lot of mid projectiles that can't be ducked normally, for example Robocop's low shot. Pokes can be improved with custom variation move called Baraka Barrage. Adds extra down forward 1 and down forward 3 pokes that are 1 frame slower compared to regular down 1 and down 3 but have increased range. Back 4 is a long range sweep with quick recovery on block. Use this a lot to control space. Forward 4, fastest mid attack that Baraka has and is a good advancing move so you can use this to get in. Also quick recovery on block so you can try to steal your turn back with a quick down 3. Back 2, longest attack that is also an overhead. Another good get in move. Back 3, fastest low starter, can be used as a stagger as well. Down 2, the classic uppercut that is a nice entire. Good speed, great range and can even be converted into a combo if your opponent is really high in the air. Alternatively, standing 1 can be used as an entire as well, leading into a follow-up combo. While talking about entires, I would like to mention Spine Burst. It's a custom move that is a really good entire. It's fast and has a big hitbox. So if you ever struggle against jumping opponents, then you can consider picking Spine Burst. One interesting note is that despite the animation, it only hits for 90 degrees forward. So don't be surprised if it misses on Leaping Jackie or Cabal. And finally, Throws. Both Baraka's throws have a crushing blow after your opponent guesses wrong on a throw escape. Solid 300 damage, but remember that only one throw crushing blow can be used per game. When it comes to variations, Baraka has two different archetypes available. You can go for a combo damage oriented variation with Gutted as main move, that is a combo extender, or mix up variation with Blood Lunge, Command Grab, or Lickabo Blow Special Attack, or even both. Reason why you have to choose is because both Gutted and Blood Lunge cost two ability slots, so you can't have them both at the same time, and Gutted is the same input as Lickabob, which is back forward 4, so they conflict with each other. For Gutted I can recommend supplementing it with one of three moves, Baraka Barrage for extended pokes to control close range space better, and it also gives an amazing jump down one option. You can also use Spine Burst for a really good entire and cool corner combos, although you lose a little bit of damage in the end because Spine Burst replaced Chop Chop, which is your most damaging combo ender. Or you can go with Blade Charge that's good to punish far pushback moves and is also an armor break with really damaging crushing block whenever you break armor with it. For Blood Lunge I can recommend adding either Spine Burst for entires and corner combos or Lick Kebab for extra mixups. Baraka also has several custom flag moves available but they are pretty bad and unusable so I don't recommend even looking at them, unless you want to put yourself at a disadvantage. My two favorite variations for each archetype is Gutted plus Baraka Barrage for when I want to deal massive damage combos, and Blood Lunge plus Lekka Bob for mix-ups and opening very defensive opponents. So having different abilities will give you different advantages and sometimes disadvantages as well. In general strengths for Baraka are good projectile that is available to all variations. It can be amplified to shoot the second mid projectile so it's effective at covering long range. Great down 2 has a good hitbox for good entires and recovers quickly. Strong jump attacks, his kick has a good hitbox and can be hard to entire. With Baraka barrage ability you also gain a really good jumping option with jump down 1. Safe on block strings. You don't have to worry about getting punished on block too much unless your opponent is good at flawless blocking and knows all gaps. 
Then it's a little bit more complicated, but you can still play it safe. And then depending on moves you have equipped, you can get huge damage if you play with Gutted Special Ability, or a lot of mix-ups if you play with Blood Lunch and Leg Kebab abilities. Before we start with Baraka Strings, I would like to explain the concept of Tick Throws that is really important if you use Blood Lunch Command Grab. Usually Command Grab done after a string on block whiffs and you get punished for that, but there can be some character specific single attacks and strings that will let your command grab connect on block. They're called tick throws. The command grab can still be avoided if your opponent jumps or neutral ducks because blood lunge is a high hitting command grab or even if they get hit while being on the ground, but it's still a mix up option. Baraka's blood lunge probably has the most amount of tick throws in the game. It ticks from every low poke, so down one, down three and down four. and even extend it down forward 1 and down forward 3 if you have Baraka Barrage ability. And it also takes from multiple strings that I will mention in a moment while talking about the strings. 1-1-2, main combo starting string starts with your fastest button standing 1 which is 7 frame startup and a special cancel which allows you to go for a special move like chop chop or gutted for big combo damage. On top of that the string has really good block advantage so you can even use our special moves and block and still be safe. Like 112 Blade Sparks without Amplify is almost unpunishable, and Amplify makes it totally safe. Additionally, if you have Gutted Special Move, then you can use it after 112 on block as well, and not have to worry about hit confirming. It will whiff on block but recover in time for you to be safe. Sounds too good to be true? Unfortunately, there are some downsides. Third hit has a gap and can be flawless blocked, and on top of that, some characters can interrupt it with low profiling pokes. So if your opponent knows about it, you have to be careful when using the full string. Mix it up with 1-1 Stagger into Throw, or 1-1 one, one into backdash and whiff punish or simply block and take your turn. If you're running blood lunge command grab then this string tick throws into it from standing 1 on block and from 1-1 one, one on block. 1-2-2 one, two, two. start the same way as 1-1-2 one, one, with standing 1 but it's not special cancelable at the end of it has a flawless lock gap between 1 and 2 but no one is going to go for it because 112 exists and it will blow up their flawless block attempt. Ends with an overhead so has a potential for a mix up with leg kebab low special move even though there is 5 frame difference between low and overhead so experienced players should be able to block both options. Main benefit of this string is that it has a crushing blow and punisher counter that gives you a launcher so it's very useful for punishing especially if you don't have the gutted launcher. Forward 2-1-2 Advancing string that starts with a quick 8 frame startup high attack and is plus 1 on block which means you can still continue attacking afterwards, especially in the corner. You can even try to go for a loop of 4 or 2 on 2s in the corner to condition your opponent into blocking or doing a long slow low poke that you can jump or whiff punish. A very good string to use if you have spine burst or leg kebab equipped so you can mix it up with 4 or 2 on 2 and 4 or 2 on special move. You need this additional special move option because the 4 or 2 on 2 string on its own has a flawless block gap that changes the frame data to minus 4 of block and can be punished with flawless block attack. Spine burst and leg kebab will hit people that try to flawless block and still keep you safe when blocked. On top of that 4 or 2 on ticks into blood lunge so having spine burst and blood lunge gives you a real 50-50 mix up that is extra dangerous in the corner because spine burst can lead to a combo then. Blood Lunch and Leg Kebab is not going to be a real 50-50 because it is slower than Spine Burst and can always be blocked while also ducking the Blood Lunch if you know the specific timing. 4-4-4 Fastest mid attack string at 12 frame startup that has good advancing properties as well so a good string to use to close distance. Popular round opener. Important thing to keep in mind is that it's minus 7 on block which means it can actually be punished by characters with 6 frame down 1 like Sub-Zero, Garrus and others. And also it means you give up your turn if it gets blocked, because it recovered so slowly. It has a crushing blow on counter or punish that can be followed up by a special move including fatal blow. Unfortunately, you need to have blood launch or blade charge to have something that connects mid-screen, but in the corner the crushing blow can be connected into chop chop, spine burst and even gutted for big damage in combo. No tick throws from this string. Back 3-1-2 is the only low combo starter, relatively slow at 14 frame starter but it is safe and it ends with an overhead which gives you a great mix up option if you have leg kebab low special equipped, only 2 frames difference between low and overhead so it's really hard to block both options and it's mostly a guess, with both options being safe, has another mix up option with blood lunch command grab because it ticks from back 3.
2 1 plus 3, a high starting string that is almost never used. There is really no use for it except if you want to surprise your opponent maybe. First attack is 10 frames high which is easily low profilable and also there is a flawless block gap but at least it's plus 1 on block so you don't really lose your turn after getting blocked. Since Baraka doesn't have a default base launcher his basic combos are usually just a string into chop chop and for most damage or blaze parts amplify if chop chop doesn't reach. If you want to be able to do serious combos then you need the gutted special move, it can be used in almost any juggle situation and the combo is the same every time if the opponent is grounded. Most common combo starters for gutted is 1-1-2 into gutted, back 3-1 into gutted and forward 4 into gutted. After the gutted launcher you can keep things simple with this combo where you just dash standing for chop chop. It's a basic combo but deals a lot of damage. Alternatively you can just dash down too if you expect a breakaway. Or use blade charge armor break if you have it. If you want to go for more challenge and maximum damage then there is an optimal mid screen combo with forward 4 into forward 2 1 chop chop. Important note about Gutted is that it has a crushing blow as well. If you do it in a combo of 9 hits or more, that deals massive damage and adds extra 100 damage over time afterwards, so make sure to use it if you want to deal maximum damage. It's pretty common for Baraka to use his jumping kick, because it has pretty good hitbox and a lot of the time it's possible to get a follow up with dash 4 or 2 on blade sparks or blood lunge or blade charge if you have them equipped. Corner is where Baraka deals the most damage. For gutted launcher you can follow it up with standing 4 into down 1 into 1 1 2 chop chop or other gutted for the damaging crushing blow. Corner is also where spine burst becomes a launcher so you can have some combos even without gutted. The combos are not very easy and require a bit of practice but the damage increase is really good especially considering it's a meterless launcher so anytime you get a spine burst to hit in the corner you can follow it up by 1 1 2 or forward 2 1 into special move that could be a blood lunge or blade charge or even another spine burst. In some specific cases where your opponent gets hit by a spine burst from longer distance you can get extra spine burst in between. For example blocked or whiffed first hit of forward 2 1 into spine burst can be followed up by forward 2 spine burst and then 1 1 2 special. Baraka also has some very usable crushing blows that lead into combos. 1 2 2 is a crushing blow on punish or counter can be followed up in easy way by standing 4 into special or in optimal way by forward 4 into forward 2 1 special. If that special is gutted then amplify and follow up with dash standing 4 into special. Down 2 just like all down 2's is a crushing blow on punish or counter of high attack and can be followed up the same way as 1 2 2 with easy option dash standing 4 special and harder option forward 4 into forward 2 1 special. Forward 4 4 crushing blow doesn't deal that much damage but it can be followed up by a special move. Mid screen only connects into advancing specials like blood launch, blade charge or fatal blow but in the corner connects with any special move including gutted where you can get a crazy damage combo by doing standing 4 into forward 2 1 special which could even be another gutted for huge damage. Baraka's fatal blow can easily be used in combos too. Simply replace the special move ender in your combos with fatal blow and it will work but might require a more precise timing sometimes so that it doesn't whip. So that was all the good stuff that Baraka has but there are some weaknesses as well that you should keep in mind. Slow movement, his dashes and walk speed are slower than most other characters. Can't have everything, you have to choose and make trade-offs with each variation and doesn't have anything scary from long range and can be zoned out by other characters. The only thing he has is blades part that can be ducked and amplify part blocked. On top of that his two advancing moves forward 4 and back 2 can be stopped by low pokes or projectiles. So that's it for my Baraka guide. If I was talking too fast or if you didn't understand something then you can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching.